So we're going to hear from our next speaker right now. He's a man who knows how to shake things up. He's uh, written a lot of articles. You probably read in the Star Ledger analyzing the budget. And when he saw how horrible the situation was, he actually had a brainstorm and designed this idea called Town Stats, which I told you about. It is the waste finder of all waste finders. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark Magyar. Um, I don't know where to start here, actually. Let, uh, let's start with actually uh, uh, giving a, a, a credit where a, a credit is uh, 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 due. Uh, uh, town stats uh, do not spring up, uh, fully formed out of my brain. It has sprang out of the uh, Citizens uh, Campaign. Uh, uh, Tom Byrne and uh, uh, Chris uh, uh, Daggett were uh, chairing the uh, Citizens uh, Campaign's Property Tax Reform Task Force in June of 2010, I guess it was, and they said, you know, if we could only uh, uh, force, uh, if uh, uh, we could only force the state to put uh, uh, budgets up online in a way that people could uh, compare them, there's been a uh, there's been a, a law in the books since uh, uh, 2007 uh, calling for a AI, AI user friendly budget, and uh, I got one up to them afterwards. I said, you know. I think I got the people who could do that if you could find us some uh, funding for it. So, uh, 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 town stats, uh, uh, town stats arose out of the uh, uh, assistance uh, campaign. The idea of town stats is that if you take your town's a uh, uh, budget, this is a this is a typical budget for a uh, town uh, that that uh, goes to state. It's about a uh, 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 sixty pages long. It does not break down into like any way what the uh, categories are. It will have the uh, uh, a police budget under uh, nine different uh, categories. It will have like fire services under uh, under other categories. Some towns will put the uh, uh, public uh, uh, safety uh, director under a uh, police. Others will put it under uh, general government because, well, they're executives and administrators, so therefore they should be under a, a general government. Some uh, towns' uh, condo services appear under a land use, others appear someplace else, under uh, public works. And to go through this takes a really good, skilled person a solid hour. Um, so what you see on uh, town sites at this point represents about 1,100 hours of uh, work, and we have about 550 hours to go during the 2012s. Uh, um, we have, um, but what, it, what the purpose is of town stats is to enable uh, uh, people to do uh, comparisons. The uh, uh, property tax reform uh, uh, task force of the uh, assistance uh, campaign was focused on the idea of a uh, duplication in a uh, local government. Uh, New, uh, New Jersey, as we said, is a uh, uh, 2,000 uh, uh, local go uh, uh, government entities. Uh, we have 566 uh, municipalities. Ingrid, are we officially at 565 with the uh, Princeton uh, Princeton Township merger yet? We'll be here January 1st. Okay, uh, January the 1st, our workload will drop by one hour a year, <laughs> thanks to the fact that the uh, uh, Princeton's have like, actually merged. But, but you think about it. Are there efficiencies? Is it efficient for a state to have uh, four, four, uh, 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 five, uh, uh, four or five hundred uh, public works departments, uh, four, uh, four or five hundred uh, police departments. What is the model of, of efficiency? What are the shared services and agreements that are out there? Uh, 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 there's a, uh, a woman by the name of uh, uh, G, uh, G, uh, uh, G, uh, Gina Genovese who has started a, a group called uh, uh, Courage to uh, 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 Connect to uh, uh, push for uh, uh, municipal mergers. And uh, uh, Gina was the mayor when, when I lived in a Long Hill uh, Township in Morris County and then was the administrator. And Gina said, you know, I realized I had 35 shared service agreements in Long Hill and I was doing them with nine different towns. And how efficient is it really to do 35, to be administering 35 different sh shared services agreements with nine different uh, uh, towns. So I'm uh, sharing a building inspector with these three towns. I'm sharing animal control with these four. And 
Shia said, you know, we have to look at uh, 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 mergers. But you also need to look at uh, shared services because it's going to be, because it is so damned hard to get anybody in this uh, uh, state to consider the fact that, well, we'd be giving up, we'd be giving up a home rule if these three towns merge, even though we're already playing in the same soccer league, we're already sharing the same high school, we're sending our, we're sending our like, elementary uh, kids all the same school districts, uh, we're already sharing uh, 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 fr uh, front end uh, spreaders and like everything else, but I need to look at share, shared services. So are there efficiencies? One of the things that TownStats does is it shows where there are efficiencies. When I when we started uh, town stats, and the first time I did a, a presentation a couple years ago, I compared the uh, Princeton's because the uh, uh, Princeton's were were actually c uh, considering for the third time whether or not to merge with uh, uh, Ridgewood. And if you look at uh, what town stats does, let me just go back to the, let me just go back to the beginning of it for you a second. What 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 uh, town stats does is it provides uh, data on various towns that you could compare them uh, side by side. Uh, comparing them uh, side by side, I literally stole this from a college board. At this point, at the, at the point I was doing uh, town stats, I had two kids in college, a third applying, and a fourth on the way. And you know what? I knew the college board website in and out. I, I knew you could go to collegeboard.com and you could punch in three colleges side by side. You could get enrollment. Loss, you could get average SAT scores, and it looked to me like it should be something that you should be able to do with New, with New Jersey and municipality. So I consulted my 16-year-old data guru, that point he was 16, uh, Michael uh, uh, Federochko, who is not here tonight because he's taking a class as a freshman at uh, uh, Rutgers, and he and he and 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 he have built this thing. Now, anytime you want anything done. Don't trust anybody. It uh, uh, used to be don't uh, 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 tr uh, tr uh, trust anyone over 30. Don't trust anybody with your data stuff under age uh, 25. <laughs> over age uh, 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 25 because they will not know how to do it. Uh, get a kit. All right. So we copied a college board. And we basically said, okay, what do we want to compare? We grabbed all sorts of uh, census data. We, we had grabbed... Uh, uh, crime data from the state. We uh, grabbed the uh, uh, property tax data from uh, uh, community affairs. We grabbed uh, uh, tax data from uh, from uh, from a uh, 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 department of uh, treasury, and then we started downloading the 565 uh, uh, municipal budgets. I just want you to get it an order of a magnitude, just because it's fun. These are double sided. This is 10. So multiply this stack by five, by. 56, you know how many budgets we've gone through for the last two years on an individualized basis. Now, looking at looking at uh, Princeton and the Ridgewoods, okay, let's look at how we can use this on the board, all right? Uh, we have looked at the uh, uh, Princeton's and the uh, Ridgewood, and, uh, Ridgewood because uh, Ridgewood was a fairly affluent uh, community in a, a Bergen uh, County with a downtown, sort of like the two uh, uh, Princeton's. The uh, population, as you can see, was uh, uh, 28,000 for the two up Princeton's. That's the number right over here, uh, the, the uh, 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 population uh, line. Uh, Ridgewood had a uh, 24,000 uh, population, so it's roughly close to the same size. Now, what is the municipal budgets in these uh, uh, towns? What are the number of employees? Well. Ridgewood was getting by with a $41.8 million budget, and the uh, Princeton's uh, between them were getting by with uh, $71,000 for not much more in the way of uh, population. Princeton admittedly has more of a, a downtown and a college, but still it does not certainly uh, uh, justify that uh, differential. The uh, number of uh, municipal employees was actually uh, relatively, uh, relatively uh, close. But if you look at, if you look at, the uh, uh, budget costs, there was a, a huge uh, uh, differential. And then you start to look, you can start to use town sets to look at, at, at a crime statistics. <coughs> excuse me. It, 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 excuse me, at a, uh, crime statistics, and you can com uh, compare the number of uh, 
of a, a, a police of a, a police of a police employees. Uh, Richwood has uh, 48 officers. The for instance at a uh, uh, 77. Um, you're, you're talking about um, you're not talking about tremendously different towns in a combination. Now I'm now merely a, a princess more of a uh, downtown, but still. Uh, this is a, uh, this is an example. Now, Willie Sutton, when he was like asked why he robbed banks, he uh, said he robbed banks because that's where the money is, right? <laughs> All right. In a municipal budget, where is the money? It's in the uh, 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 police budget, and it's in police staffing. Okay. Let's let's look. Uh, I did a study for um, a recorder a uh, recorder of newspapers, in uh, which I looked at 40 towns in uh, Morris and uh, Somerset County, so all the, all the towns that they had covered. And we had looked at uh, police staffing uh, uh, per a town. And what we found was that if you looked at, if you looked at it, the uh, three most efficient uh, towns, this is an example that I can use uh, uh, town stats, um, they, that there was an economy of scale in a, a budget spread. Uh, towns are relatively side by side. Let's take uh, uh, Bernard's uh, uh, Township uh, as an example. Uh, uh, Bernard's uh, uh, Township uh, in uh, Somerset, a uh, very affluent town, hometown of B. Uh, Daggett, who's around here someplace. <laughs> B, all right? And I think of Ray Caprio as well. Uh, is pretty, right, Ray? Right? Okay. Let, let's take their hometown. Okay, we have uh, uh, Bernard's uh, uh, Township. We want to uh, compare Bernard's uh, Township with other towns. So all you do is you go there, compare other towns. Okay, we have a Bernard's Township. Let's compare Bernard's with a uh, Harding, where I live, right next door. And let's compare it with uh, Mendema Borough or with uh, Ch uh, Chester Borough, which is relatively close. Okay, uh, Chester Borough and a uh, Harding. And let's compare it on crime and property taxes and budget. All right, here we are. Uh, Bernard's Township um, has a population of, Bernard's Township has a population of, uh, let me run down to it. Actually, I need the uh, demographics. Let me go back, sorry about that. I need some, I need some, uh, some more uh, uh, comparisons. Let me just go back a minute. Um, Okay, Bernard's Township, and let's do, compare to Harding, Chester Borough, and let's add uh, demographics in because we need a, a demographics. Okay, um, uh, uh, Bernard's Township, for, for example, has a population of uh, uh, 26,000. Harding and uh, uh, Chester, between them, have a population of 5,400. All right. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, crime rates, or in terms of uh, 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 demographics, uh, uh, Burns Township has a lot of condos. It has. Uh, it's certainly no. It's certainly not as affluent as a uh, Harding. Um, it's it's probably uh, comparable to a uh, 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 Chester in a, a lot of ways. But let's take a look at this. Uh, you have a, a a municipal budget for those two towns of. $13 million compared to $35 million for uh, uh, Bernard's uh, Township. The uh, 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 difference in our population is 5 to 1. The difference in costs is, is 3 to 1 of like maintaining two smaller towns with separate governments. Where's, where are some of the costs? Let's start to look under uh, uh, police and crimes. Crime statistics. These are really damned high crime areas. I mean, we're talking about two violent crimes per year in Burns, two in Chester, two in Harding, and three in Chester, and I'm not sure why they had that crime uh, a, a spree in uh, 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 Chester, because that's way out of line. All right. Total p uh, 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 police and employees. 54 in Burns Township to do uh, uh, 26,000 uh, residents. 23 combined in a Harding and a, a, a Chester. We have uh, uh, 23 officers to protect 
5,500 people in an area where there's no crime. All right. Uh, police employees per thousand. Harding is at 3.4. Chester is at 6.1. Burners is at 2.0. Now, if I were to put up Burners Township, Washington Township, and Amaris Township, those would be the three most efficient uh, police forces in that 40 town area. Why are they the most efficient uh, police forces? Because they each uh, patrol towns where they have population be, uh, be, uh, between 18,500 and uh, uh, 26,000. And you need three shifts if you're protecting 1,300 people or 3,500 people or if you're protecting 26,000 people. Okay? So what is the index crime rate per officer? Um, uh, uh, the index uh, 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 crimes, I mean, are uh, uh, relatively, uh, uh, relatively uh, 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 close. I mean, but uh, you're looking at this, uh, you, they're handling approximately the, the uh, same number like index uh, uh, crimes with the, uh, 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 with the number of like officers that is, uh, it, that is much less. Now, how do you, uh, what do you do about this? Well, first of all, you could look at joint uh, 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 policing. Uh, Harding has recently uh, joined with uh, Madison and with uh, uh, John Burrow in a, a John Township in, in a joint uh, municipal court. They are they are saving a, a, a great deal of money on it. Harding and Madison go to the same high school. The uh, uh, Chatham's go to the same uh, high school. When you're looking to share core services, the first place to look is your regional, uh, 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 regional uh, high school district because everybody knows everybody else anyway. They all go to the same schools. Uh, you're looking for a common interest, right? But uh, but if you look at a if you look at up uh, 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 police departments, years ago, Harding was uh, patrolled at night by the uh, police force from a uh, uh, Chatham Township, who would send a cop by. That was okay. And they didn't need the a third shift. Now, you look at a hoarding, and a hoarding is currently going to be... The cost to a hoarding for a, a police officer, and a Matthew Boxer referred to this earlier, um, the cost to hoarding per a police officer is not the $100,000 average salary. It's about $240,000 a year. Because after the uh, retirements, uh, you're paying two retirees he eventually... For each a police officer who is on, you're paying for their retiree health benefits. Uh, even though they're off, you're still paying for their uh, of their health benefits. So, if I were sitting in a Harding, which I am, okay, uh, what I would say is, you know what? If I paid Chatham Township one hundred thousand dollars to send an officer in on a full time uh, a basis, they can, and they cover his uh, benefits, I'm gonna save a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. 150,000 a year, right? You have to look at where consolidation makes sense. And joint up uh, uh, policing is where it makes the most sense. Uh, Somerset County, over the last two uh, years, over the last four years, did a monstrous study. It was huge. It was so well done. It was run out of the uh, uh, prosecutor's office. Every uh, police chief in the county was involved. There were task forces. You could not have done a better job. And at the end of the day, they said, we can... We can save money and have more officers on the street. We will hire more cops, have more people on the street, have less overhead, and we will save money. And not a single town opted in because it was such a, a hard sell. Um, there are a lot of really good people out there who are working on uh, consolidation and uh, 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 regionalization and, and uh, shared services efforts. Uh, and it uh, cuts across uh, 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 party lines of uh, uh, one of the most uh, uh, conservative uh, free, uh, 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 free orders in the state, Rob Walton from 100 in County, worked very uh, uh, closely with me on a, a task force. Uh, Gary uh, uh, Passananti from uh, Camden County is probably the top shared services guy in the state, in my estimation. See, a Democrat. He's the mayor of a, a Democratic uh, summer deal for the last uh, 24 years. There are a lot of people out there. There are a lot of experts out there. Now, allegedly, 
We have been working on a task force that will, uh, uh, hopefully this will be the last year that we do municipal budgets by a hand. Be, uh, because we've been working on a, a, a task force with the state, Ray Caprio uh, uh, started uh, on it with me, and with uh, Rob Walton, that uh, will have the state finally uh, provide an electronic form, a uh, user-friendly budget. That looks, by the way, just like the one on our website. It's going to be the one on our website in, in every form. If you look at our budget, scanning down, let's go to a budget. These are easily comparable uh, municipal budget, local aid, legal services, uh, uh, police budgets, uh, fire budgets, uh, public works, a library. And this, and this will all be provided electronically so that you can easily uh, download it. If you do not want to go to our website, I would, I would obviously encourage everyone uh, to continue to go to our website first because uh, we'll uh, 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 clean up the uh, data for you. But the other thing that it's going to do, this new user-friendly budget that we've developed, which we are hoping will be online with the 2013s, although um, I'm willing to bet they'll be online with the 2013s. I'm a real optimist, okay? But if you, if, if you look at it, they are also adding all sorts of stuff on, uh, on uh, bonds ratings, debt, and assurance costs. Uh, these, these are all the uh, uh, budget items under appropriations and uh, uh, staffing is what's uh, currently on our site. The uh, revenue items are currently on our site, but it will give you actual uh, cost, annual cost of, uh, uh, of health benefit coverage. It will provide you with tax exemptions. It will show uh, fiscal imbalances. And one of my favorites, it will actually have every shared uh, a service agreement that your town takes part in as a, uh, a provider or as a recipient. So this will be the first time that you will be able to see all your shared services agreements all in one place. This is a, uh, a, a monster uh, uh, project. Um, it's going to save us all the work on the budgets. It's going to answer all our work on like, on like everything else because we have to f uh, figure out how to do that. But this is um, uh, town stats. We currently have the 2010 and, two, and, a two, and a 2011 budgets up. We want most of the 2012s uh, uh, up uh, within the next um, uh, month and a half. So uh, you'll be able to do com uh, comparisons. Uh, Ray's in the back of the room uh, uh, staring at me because Ray is my prime consumer of, of municipal of budget data. So I will, at this point, I'm getting the uh, cut sign from the uh, chair in back because Harry is way too kind to uh, cut me off. But in that case, um, uh, uh, th uh, thank you very much. I'll be around afterwards. And